New England's always thought of as the great place to go, you know, but that's mostly sugar maple, which are spectacular, but we've got a huge diversity here. Uh, the species change as you go around the bend in the road based on which way like the mountains facing. And so we get much greater diversity in colors. Different years get known as good foliage years and others don't. There's, there's a number of factors for that. When you get a storm, it will end the season because those leaves are getting ready to come off. They form that abscission layer that makes them break. When you have really bad dry conditions, late summer, early fall, you get trees that'll brown up faster. That also will cause the timing to be spread out much, much wider. So you never have that one great colossal weekend. In the uh, fall of the year, as the day lengths get shorter, that triggers the initial changes. And basically, all the chlorophyll, which contains a lot of nutrients, it's breaking down and leaving the leaf before the leaf falls off. Well, as the chlorophyll breaks down and all those nutrients and elements leave the, the tree, it leaves behind pigments that were always there, but you didn't see them. So the yellow's been there all summer. Now the reds, that's a little bit different. When you start having cold days and sunlight still hitting the foliage, that sunlight can be damaging to the leaf when it can't run its chemical processes. So it's like us getting sunburned. And so the red forms as basically a sunscreen while they're remobilizing all these nutrients out of the leaf. When, when one leaf is laying on top of another leaf, and you pull that leaf aside, there won't be any red under there. The reds develop in bright sunlight, and so we get our best red development when we have clear fall days while this is happening.